Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and today I want to talk about Archangel Aniel, A-N-A-E-L. Now there's a little bit of controversy around this angel because some people say it's the same angel as Archangel Haniel, H-A-N-I-E-L. And then other people say, no, no, they're two separate beings. At the end of the day, it does not freaking matter, okay? Why is that? Because we're all one. We have that idea going on. <laughs> so actually, the only reason why archangels have labels, names, and the only reason I don't hear enough angel mediums talk about this and why, uh, here, the only reason why they're broken down <laughs> into categories is because they're in charge of helping this realm, these beings, us. Duality consciousness, third dimensional ego consciousness, density consciousness, beings. So the way our brains operate is they have to be, you know, broken down into little pieces. We need a clear list of what everybody does and have a nice, neat little label, right? That's why they have, like Archangel Gabriel has a name and has responsibilities that's not really who these beings are on the whole. It's just how we can interpret their messaging and understand them. So more, maybe people might argue <laughs> whether Aniel is the same as Haniel. Do you see how it doesn't really matter, right? So today we're going to speak of Aniel as if this is uh, a singular being, but really they're all connected. So Aniel is... The, some people might refer to this as Angel Aniel or Archangel Aniel. But Aniel is kind of there to help you with anything. Like truly. Creativity. Love. If you've had a broken heart. Justice. Finding a career that you love. Aniel has been associated with beauty. So think about, okay, I want to even out my life. I want to live my fullest potential. This is also associated with Archangel Shamuel and the love portion. So they have very similar energies in that way, Shamuel and Aniel. So uh, Aniel, I feel, is a little bit closer to us as opposed to, like, even if you see Aniel as an archangel, I don't know, Aniel kind of comes in a little bit closer and um, can be a little more accessible for some people, whereas others might feel the big presence of Shamuel and back away get scared, not want to work with Samuel. But Aniel is a good angel to bring in when when we have times like the ones we're in right now as of the recording of this. I'm recording this on May 4th, 2023. This is, a, you know, an evergreen video. It is a timeless video. But we are about to hit the 5-5 five, five energy portal. And some people have taken it so far to say it's the fifth day of the week. Depends on if you count Monday as the first day or Sunday as the first day of the week. I don't know. Uh, and also just taking the two and three of 2023 and saying, well, there's another five. In my opinion, that's stretching a little bit. <laughs> it's, it's reaching because uh, it's actually a seven year. But regardless, it's the number of change. And when we're going through that, it's a time where we're realizing where we've gotten off path, where we have allowed, you know, a bad situation to go on for too long or where we have engaged in a way of life that no longer fits us, right? So as we're going through that kind of transformation, yes, we can work with Osriel, Metatron, Michael, Uriel, Gabriel, you know, we can work with all these archangels, but Angel Aniel helps us, I don't want to say have a heart activation, uh, that might be something that people would experience, but this is understanding what's in your heart. For example, Aniel can come forward and if you say, gosh, I just don't know where to live. I just don't know where to live. And you're getting this pull to go back to your hometown, right? I'm using this because I just, I just kind of experienced this. Um, and maybe, you know, hometown is a small town and you're like, I would never, but you start realizing, no, that's where I'm at now. That is okay. That makes sense. Right. Or if you work for a big corporation and you say, I could never start my own business. Like, no, that doesn't feel right. This is that time where you realize, okay, but this isn't working. 
And it's not like me running the opposite direction just to find a solution, but rather when we work with Anio, Anio helps us go into our heart and realize, I like a quieter life. I want to start something for myself or, you know, I do want to get back out there and start dating or do you see what I'm saying? Like that whole, it's like a personal revolution where it's just like this realization of, oh, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't know why I'm putting myself through this. Okay. Now, when we work with Anya, a lot of people use angelic communication to get something. And that's not exactly what they're there for. They're there to guide us and to help us on our spiritual growth path in this reincarnation so that we don't have to come back and do it again. Okay. But to help us not only learn things about ourselves, but to then put that out into the collective and, you know, do our part. So Anil comes in and helps you understand what your true feelings are, what your needs are, and what can you participate in to help make that a part of this 3D reality. Okay. So that is why, especially around these times, you will have this moment of, oh gosh, I don't want to live near the ocean. I want to live in the mountains or vice versa. Or I always thought, you know, Florida or Arizona would be a great place to be, but you know, it's hot and uh, they got scary bugs. Some of you are going to laugh when I say, and alligators. Okay. (laughs) Come like an inside joke. Alligators are dinosaurs and they freak me out. But, you know, maybe you go, no, I kind of like having the season changes of, if you're in the U.S., New England. Uh, you know, that sort of thing. You start to think outside the box. She's also, I associate her with feminine energy. That's the other thing. None of them have genders. Let's all calm down. It's just for ease of conversation because we're human and we expect everything to be, you know, a certain way. So, whatever. So, no real gender, but we're going to call her she uh, only because that's how she presents to me, but can help you, um, get that creativity flowing to help you get creative solutions or, and this is the biggest, you know, contribution I've experienced just plain old helping me see my life in a different way, helping me see it from a different vantage point. And to understand that the way I'm living now is not the only option. She's also really good at helping you understand how to express what people call your gifts. I always cringe a little bit when someone's like, what are my gifts? What am I? It just depends on the person. Not everybody, but some people who say that it lands differently. Okay. But she does help you understand that if you see yourself in a certain way, I am an electrician. It's what I studied. It's what I'm good at. It's the only thing I can do. Anio comes in and shows you that there are other potentials for you. She might come in and say, well, yeah, you know, that's what you've learned to do. Yes, you're good at it, but you're also a musician. You're great at the guitar. So balancing your life out in that way. The other reason why I wanted to do this video is because we tend to, and I've been doing this work for a very long time, when people get readings from me and they ask about life's path and purpose, often people are asking about career. And it makes sense. It's not a bad thing if that's how you see it because it's how we show up. It's our contribution to the world. It's how we spend our days, how we spend our energy. And for some people, it's what ends up getting prioritized over their relationships. So yeah, people are going to focus on that. What Anil does is comes in and helps you realize you are not your career. You are not just that. You are a human being in this world. She's also really good at helping you find ways to direct your energy. Okay? So when you're having conflict with someone and you find yourself, you know, maybe in your head you're doubting yourself and going... Well, on one hand, people tell us to just let it go and don't engage. And then on the other hand, people are like, no, you got to tell them off. Anio helps you understand that there's a time and place. (laughs) And when we're talking about discernment, uh, Anio helps us with that discernment. I'll make a whole other video on that. But um, helping us decide when is the appropriate time to speak up for ourselves 
and when is it maybe time to be quiet? When we are breaking away, going back to the career thing, when we're breaking away from that is our identity. Anil can help us find what we as humans would call, at least here in the U.S., we call them hobbies. And people always, because this has come up in angel readings too, that's a way to practice your creativity is through hobbies. Not only that, it, you know, helps with the manifestation muscle if you want to see it that way, but it sharpens your mind as well. One of the workouts I do quite often is dance. Why is that? Am I good at it? No. Does it make my knees hurt? Yes. Um, but <laughs> I got to do that maybe a little bit less. But what it does is it exercises my brain. So especially if you're doing choreography, you have to, you know, get muscle memory going, but you have to initially look at the moves, the timing of it. It's a great brain exercise. Anil can help you figure out stuff like that, right? Even down to, yes, what kind of workout works best for you? Listen to your doctor, okay? Take that into consideration. Listen to the professionals. But when you're guided to something, pay attention to it. And just staying along the line of that example, so we have to be open to listening. So if you're somebody, like I was always into hiking, and hiking can be dangerous, especially with the way I was doing it. I was like, oh, I want to get to the top of the mountain. And <laughs> I've done it. I've done it plenty of times. I've also had severe falls. I believe I had a concussion from one of them. I almost fell over the side of a mountain. Yeah, okay. And uh, that's why my knees are so messed up. It's because I've had so many falls out here in Colorado. Now... I started feeling like, no, I got to, you know, I'm in Colorado. I got to take advantage of this. And then I started feeling like, no, like just disinterested. I still hike every once in a while, but I don't care about getting to the top of a mountain. And it's not out of fear. It's kind of a been there, done that. But there's a new way at the age I am now to move my body that works best for me, for my mind and my physical body. So do you see what I'm saying? Like that's what Anio can do. Anio can kind of come in show you the potentials, show you uh, what might be best for you now. Again, pay attention to your doctor. Do not just lean on this as like medical advice, obviously. So there's that. And again, you know, finding other hobbies that might be really good for you. That doesn't mean you're going to be good at the hobby. It just means that it's going to get you around other people, perhaps, if that's something that is good for you or it might get your mind thinking in a different way but regardless it is exercising your creative life force all right so working with Archangel Aniel can help in a lot of different areas it's this relatable kind of energy that she brings but you have to be willing to explore it okay you have free will yes you're making your choices but if you're not taking it seriously Right? Like, oh, hey, you should take a pottery class. You know, you just feel in the pull to that. But you're like, no, nah, I got I to gotta work longer hours at my job. Well, maybe you're missing not only the chance to relax, to if you f fall in love with doing pottery, I mean, there's something that you find that brings a lot of life force energy up for you. But maybe there were some connections in there. Maybe someone who's a part of your soul tribe, right? soul family, is in there. Or maybe somebody that you're going to learn from is in there. You see what I'm saying? Anya helps with that flow. If you have any other questions, leave them down below. But we're going to leave it there for now. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.